and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly, so if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Now I'm actually going to be posting out a box today to Gar from Arachnotube, or formerly Predator or Prey Online, if that's how you know him. He's been getting into stick insects lately, so I'm sending him a couple of species. And what I'm going to do for you today is show you how to pack them for posting. So what you'll need first is a tub. You can use a cricket tub or all sorts, but obviously size dependent depending on how big the species are. So I've got myself one of these, which was actually from a previous buy at a show. And the next step you want to do is put in some kitchen roll. Just line it on the bottom roughly and give it a spritz. And that's it. Plain and simple for your layering. It's not like a tarantula, guys, where you would have to build an almost fake burrow out of tissue for it to feel safe and contained and not bounce around. Stick insects need freedom to move or they stress and they die. So the next step is to put in a bramble. Now this is the important part. I say bramble, it's whatever food plant your stick insect's eating. If it's a privet eater, privet. You know, that just makes sense, right? But I'm gonna be showing you with bramble today on how to secure it into your enclosure. So let's do this now. So here is a bramble stem. Now that's gonna be far too big for this enclosure. So what I need to do is I need to cut it down. But where I cut it, I need to make sure there is some stem space left afterwards. So if I were to chop it here, for example, you can see how I've left some space for the stem here and on this piece here. Check that they'll fit into the box next. So there is space if I bent the leaves in, so that's great. So what I then need to do is get more kitchen roll, couple of sheets, fold them, fold them again, fold them again, and then give this one a really good spritz. Soak both sides, you want it wet, right? Not like you would in the container, that's just damp. This is almost wet. If I squeezed it, some liquid would come out. Place the stems on here, wrap it round and fold it upwards, wrap again, like so. Now, if it feels a bit dry in any areas, another spritz. Now, you don't want this pouring out in the enclosure and causing stick insects to drown. So your next step is to get some tin foil, rip some off and wrap it round your tissue. Nice and tightly, fold at the bottom and squeeze round. So now if any of this gets squeezed, it's gonna pour and make a puddle in the bottom, which is perfect to keep the bramble alive in transit. Next, you need to put it in. So I'm gonna do it diagonally. You want it as wedged as possible, guys, because if it's flopping about in the enclosure, so are the stick insects and you can cause some death. So then fold the leaves in. Do not break the stems, because if you break the stems, the water won't get to the leaves properly. Just fold them in. Now, they're not going to stay right now, but they will when the lid is closed. So your next step is to pop in the insects. Now you don't want it to be too overpopulated. Um, in these containers, even though it's only for a short time. So I'm gonna base this depending on size of my stick insects on how many I'm putting in here for gar. Now these are gonna be the Eurocanthus calcarata. I'm also sending him one other species and some over, and I'm also giving him some of my premium bug grub to try for his feeders, and I'm gonna stick something stupid in the box because it's gar. Now his video would be out before mine, I presume, because I actually have videos in advance. But if you haven't seen it already, make sure to go onto Arachnotube and check out his unboxing. So what I'm gonna be doing now is gathering up some Eurocantha and placing them into this box. Sorry, I cut the footage there because Eurocanthus like to hide and it took me a fair while to find a good amount to give gar. So, but here they are. Now I'm gonna be folding these leaves in, as I said. And when you close the lid, make sure not to trap any antenna or feet. I think this one's gonna be a little bit of a pain. 
Move your feet down, please. Right, so there we have it. Now, if you see, I don't want to shake it too much, but as I'm shaking it, nothing is moving. I can spin it, nothing. It's wedged in, and that's exactly how you want it. So let's have a look at Gar's box currently. So, we already have some pre-packed insects here. And now we're going to be adding the Eurocanthus. Now I'm giving him some premium bug grub here to try out on his feeders. Underneath here is loads of packing peanuts and shredded cardboard for security and warmth. Got some airbag bits and so on. Now I'm not sealing this box yet because I need to actually label everything in here. But yes, this is the box that he will be receiving. So I hope that's helped with you understanding on how to pack these. Like I said, you can use cricket tubs and things for smaller insects too. So I'm going to be sorting out this box, sending it off to Gar, and hopefully you guys have learned something today and feel more comfortable about packing your own stick insects. Let me know in the comments below if this has helped you. And I also have a little over section here. Now these are packed differently inside here. It's not just all in this tissue. So if you want to know how to safely pack stick insect over or eggs, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a separate video showing you how to do that. So if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. And that's going to be it from me. So take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.